Hello everyone and welcome to APM Academy. In today's video, we're going to go over some of the automatic communication settings that you have available in Appfolio. Now, in order to find this, you'll just go to your name at the top right corner, general settings, scroll down to the communication section, and then automatic communication settings. Once here, you can see there's a couple different automated communication items that you guys can go ahead and enable. First one being to send birthday emails to your tenants. This just helps in terms of making it more personal and intimate and encouraging tenant relations. Another one you can set up is have automatic responses be sent to guest cards when they send questionnaires online. You can also make sure that they have to fill out a pre-qualification questions. This is where you can set that up under your releasing section. You can also make sure that the email is to your liking. By default, it'll say hello prospect name, list the property address and the unit listing, and then whatever you want in the body, you can type manually here. And then this is what they will see. Another thing that you can set up for automation is you can automatically send an email confirmation when a rental application is complete. You can also send automatic emails and texts to work orders to update when the statuses are updated. This will go out to the vendors and owners and tenant. And you can also set up automatic email guest cards to showing us that you recently did. When you select all these options, it's important to note that once you've selected them, you want to hit save to keep any of the work and progress that you've made. Another area that you can set for texting settings under the communication settings. Uh, this will be important when dealing with ten text messages through the portal or through the phone number that you send to them. In most cases, your default text number is going to be whatever's under your managed company settings and under texting phone numbers. Right now, this database does not have enabled, but there will be a designated number that's unique and distinct to your specific at folio that will show here. But the texting settings are important just because it allows you to one, even say if you're going to accept inbound text messages or not from owners, vendors, tenants and prospects. You can also have it forward to a specific email. If you maybe have a leasing agent on your team and you want them to receive all text messages, regardless of whether or not they have access to that number. And then you can also create specific portfolios and have it go to a specific portfolio number as opposed to the generic company phone number that's again under the general settings manage company settings and under texting phone numbers here. Another section that's super important to make sure that you don't have tenants miss their payments is the rents and dues reminders. Here, you'll want to make sure that you check off the continue sending rent and unpaid charges reminders. This will allow for tenants to receive an email if they're delinquent or behind. If this is not set up by default, then you will need to go ahead and send them a letter to the communication letters and then tenant unpaid charges. Once here, you can select your portfolio or your property that you need to send a rent reminder to. You'll hit search and then it will show you which tenants need a reminder to which then you'll say send a reminder and it'll shoot the letter out to all the tenants that have unpaid charges. Here you can also bulk enable and disable reminders by either selecting enable reminders or disable reminders. You can also make sure that you send reminders to homeowners and tenants that have unpaid charges before your grace period ends. This is again the grace period that's set up either on the property page for late fees or the tenant page specifically for them grace period then if once they miss that then wait for you to incur and post to their ledgers again like previous ones all the updates you've made you want to make sure you check them off and then stay before bidding
in the event that you need to communicate with a property in bulk, you have a couple different options at your disposal. You can either first go to your name, general settings, scroll down to communication, and then bulk communication settings. And once here, you can say bulk portal communication settings, you can edit and say enable. And then you can add a message here. You can say tend to tenants only or owner in the event that you want to send it to both of your tenants and owners. You can put the property group here or leave it blank to send it to all your properties within your system. And then you can type your message here, whether that be there's a fire, there's an outage, or there's an, any known issues that you feel the tenants will need to know as it will impact their residency at your apartment complex or your simple family home. So that's the first way you can do it. The other way you can do it as well is you can generate a letter or a communication from the communication tabs, letters. You can say need temp letter. Make your letter here. Once the template is created, you then will be able to like the tenant unpaid charges, then send it out in bulk to everyone. And they will receive it in their tenant portal. And then the third and final way that you can do this as well is you can go to the actual property. Scroll down to the section that says attachments. And then once here, you can add a letter attachment if you've already created a letter outside of that folio. And then once added here, you'll have the option to say share with all tenants. And then it'll do the same thing as the other two options we discussed will do. In that folio, there's multiple ways that you can communicate with your tenants when they have their portal activated. One way is via email by simply going to the tenant thing here and then clicking on their email. Another option that you do have, if you have it enabled, is there will be a text box right here, right before you get down to the letters and all these different sections down here, will be a text box here where you can see history of all your text messages between you and the tenant. And again, the number they will be texting is gonna be based off your general settings, manage company settings, text number. The box will live here and you can type a message here and then send it back and forth as normal text messages back and forth. We're we'll actually going to that again one time. You can email the tenant by selecting the email box here and typing out your email and sending it. You also, if you have texting enabled, we'll be able to scroll down and underneath the email section will be a box here that's the texting. And here you'll be able to see a text log of all text messages between the tenant and that company number that's assigned to you underneath your managed company settings. But in this box, you can also, from the tenant page, type any questions, information, and then send it for your convenience. In the event you want to see history of the communication between you and the tenant, most of the emails and automated letters that are sent out will live under the audit log. You'll see when they were sent and then be timestamped. Another way, like we discussed, is if you want to see history of text messages between you and the tenant, You'll just identify the text box or the texting box on the tenant page and you can scroll back to the beginning of time on the thread thank you for watching apm academy brought to you by apm help if you have questions on the content you can find us at apmhelp.com or reach us at info at apmhelp.com like share and subscribe for more